Before we touch our partner, it's important that you are competent in doing the footwork solo. So let's get started. Leaders, I'm going to start with my left leg. And followers, I will start with my right leg. Five, six, seven, eight, a one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Let's do the same thing, but with words. Five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, triple step, triple step. Let's take a look from the side view. Five, six, seven, eight, and rock. Two, three, and four, five, and six. Same thing with words. Five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, triple step, triple step. Now let's do the front view. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, five, and six. One more time with words. Five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, triple step, triple step. So now that we've done that, let's take a look at some of the details. We're going to turn sideways. The very first step that we start with is the rock step. And one of the key details about this is that when you go backwards onto your back foot, follows, that's my right leg. Leaders, it's your left leg. I'm going to try to keep my back heel up, or we are going to try to keep our back heels up, so that if we were to do these in, on repeat, uh, multiple rock steps, our back heel is going to stay up off of the ground. This helps keep us light. This allows us to keep our bounce. And it's a really nice spring, and it adds to the dynamic of the partner connection. Now let's talk about the triple step. We want you to have a, a swing in your step, step, which is in contrast to a cha-cha or an even split of the rhythm. <laughs> oh, so that's a triple step. It is, but it's a cha-cha rhythm. It's splitting the counts one and two right down the middle. One and two, three and four. But we're doing swing dancing, jazz music, so we want to, to swing it. We want to do a swing rhythm. And it's going to sound like this. Oh, it's uneven. It is uneven. Hence the definition of swing rhythm, which is the uneven split between two beats. So we want to go long, quick, quick, long, quick, quick. So if Joe and I demonstrate that twice, five, six, seven, and long, quick, quick, long, and stop. Excellent. Now, once you understand that, you're going to be able to match the music much more precisely. And that's the feel that we want to get for you. The bounce is really, really important. Let's talk about this. So the bounce can come from two different places. And if we turn sideways, it'll make it easier to see. If you think about it from the ground up, the very first place that your bounce can come from is from your heels. So let's have your knees bent just a little bit and think about bringing your heels up and back down and up and down and up and down. So if we were to move a little bit faster, you can create this from your feet. But Kevin, where else can we create this from? We're going to try this just from our knees. So go flat footed right now and just bend your knees. So we're going down and back up. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But when Joe and I are actively dancing, we're using the bounds in both locations. So we're going to roll onto the balls of our feet. We're going to let our feet pulse up and down, and we're going to bend through our knees. And now we get a nice, relaxed pulse in our bodies. So we are using this every time we are stepping. So when we are dancing, it would sound like one, two, three, a four, five, a six. So our bounce is continuous through our movement. So it's almost like the bounce is on every beat of the music, mm, a full-time isn't it? rhythm. So now let's take a look at our basic again. Kevin and I will turn it around and we'll do three basics for you so that you can see the pulse, so you can see that we keep our heel up on our rock step and that we've syncopated our triple steps. So take a look, we're doing it three times through. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and two, two, three, and four, five, and six. Last and three, time. Two, three, and four, five, and six. So, we want you to make sure that you get really comfortable with this footwork solo before you move on to the partner dynamics. So, we have a music training video for you. So, we're gonna be dancing to the music. But we're going to be changing positions because it's important while you're doing these triple steps, you don't always have to stay in exactly the same line that Joe and I are dancing in. So we're just going to demonstrate that for you real quick. So we're going to do three basics, but we're going to rotate around in a circle. Six, seven, and basic. Do, do, basic, do. See how we're turning a little bit? Basic. And now Joe and I are going to continue, but we're going to turn the other way because you can turn both ways in swing dancing. To the right and to the left. One last time. Great. Once you're comfortable with that, get the music on, get that nice and comfortable solo, and then you will have earned the right to touch your partner.